Here's a toy video from Atama ETV. Listen up, people. Combat Stu Carter here from... I'm with my sidekick, Alex. Hi. And we're here to give you a tactical briefing on the SpyNet Ultra Vision Night Vision Goggles. So stand by for... A new toy review. <laughs> now, it used to be just as recently as 10 years ago, you couldn't get night vision equipment. Like the stuff made in the U.S., illegal to, to, to sell in the open market. You had to, like, go to Russia and get some Russian stuff that was kind of crappy. But now they're putting night vision equipment out in the market for anybody to use. And we decided we'd review this so that we could upgrade the uh, equipment that our uh, guards have in the outpost to help guard my top secret facility here. Now here's a close look at the package and uh, let's be honest here. We'll talk about the features. First thing, it's, it's real night vision, but what it's, it's using is it's using an IR projector, an IR flashlight basically to capture night vision. It's not using uh, like low light capture technology that's used by the military, okay? Also, it says it has a thermal, thermal tech effect, okay? It does not have thermal imaging as well. It's not uh, going to see uh, your body heat. We're going to check it out, but uh, I, I'm sure that's not the, the uh, uh, capability. It talks about some kind of ghost recon effect. We're going to see what that is. There's a targeting scope. There's a video screen, LCD screen. So that's kind of a high-tech thing here. And it says you can record video as well. And here's a look at the back of the box. And you can see the features laid out. Capture photos, night vision, ghost recon. I think that's just basically a, a negative effect you can switch to. Targeting scope, thermal tech effect. Yeah, recall, uh, record video, daytime surveillance. Okay, and then uh, it has an LCD screen. Well, I guess we better open this up and have a better look at it. And then Alex reminds me that the package says to record video and photos, you need a micro SD card. It's not included. You know what? I've got one, but it's in my smartphone. If you've got a smartphone, you might have one too, but it's in your smartphone. You want to keep it there. These are the adapters. They're even smaller. See, they fit in the adapter there. So that's something to consider. They're about $25. Buy one, and you get the adapter to go with it so that you can plug this into your card readers, usually that are on your laptops or computers. Also requires four AA batteries. Not included. So consider that in the total cost of the unit. Okay, well, here's the SD card from my phone. And for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to put it into here. And, and actually, if I want to record video to show you, I may have to use this. But just be careful. If you're using the one from your phone, you may have to format it. And then you're going to lose your data from your phone. But it goes right in here in this little slot in the center of the unit. Yeah, good luck to me. So here's the device uh, out of the package. It's not really heavy. Uh, it has like a protective uh, rubber seal for your eyes. You notice it just has a small, a short neck strap. If you're going to fly helicopters or go on a combat patrol by yourself, you may want to find the kind of night vision goggles that attach you know, to your hat or your helmet or just hang on your head so that you can be hands-free, right? This would be more appropriate, say, uh, for a spotter to use or guard uh, so that the spotter can look for the uh, enemy and then the uh, the uh, gunner working separately can can man the, uh, uh, the the machine guns or whatever also the, uh, this device is by Jack Pacific and they've been doing this night vision equipment for a few years and they've been put out they put out a few different models some of the older models are not as capable as this one but don't, don't just go by price. If you're on, if you're on ToysRUs.com or Amazon, you get a lot of individual Yahoo's selling stuff. They'll have the prices all over the place. You can't just use price as an indicator of how new or old it is. Just uh, carefully look at the models and capabilities to find the one that has what you want. Okay, so looking at the features uh, and, the, and the equipment here, there's a nice focus button in the front. It gets it up, focus real good. I like that. Day and night mode. We're going to play with it in day mode first, and then we're going to go into the basement and try it at night, and then we'll go outside tonight and try it. We put our uh, micro SD card in the slot here. Uh, and then there's a toggle switch here to toggle some scope overlays. Uh, and so they're kind of cool. You can get some uh, targeting 
like looks and some range finding kind of looks which is nice if you're going to save the pictures down here is a toggle switch for uh, the effects in the day mode you can go to a day mode effect and then number two is a thermal tech effect and three is the ghost recon effect and there you see the pictures there and then if you're in night mode it's going to look like night vision uh, thermal tech and ghost recon again and these these buttons uh, function to do the record and the playback features also a nice feature is the eye width adjustment so that uh, if you're big like me you can get them spread farther out and if you're small you want them closer together what you want is you don't want two pictures you want one clear picture and that's what this does let's uh what let's check this out Giving your arms some more. So that concludes our briefing on the spy net. Alt what? What's that? What? There's an enemy patrol inbound. Come on, we've got to get to the firing position. Bring the goggles. Between the boring